Hey guys, EP Jamie here. Now, the reason I haven't uploaded to start with is because I've been waiting for this banging call to go. And, you know, it's, it hasn't gone, so I decided, you know, it's about time to upload. So, in this episode, I'm gonna go through, I don't know, I guess, dream games, you know, what, 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 what I've always wanted to come out on a computer or a console or a PSP even though I don't play that kind of thing. Uh, that is two, I have two games to share with you um, that would be my dream game. Obviously feel free to leave your dream game in the comments. So we're going to begin with the first game which is a NASA simulator uh, which could be multiplayer, you can invite your friends to uh, be your space crew and it would be just like any normal simulator but you know, be re using real space physics. Now, obviously, no one will be able to know how to play the game or anything, because it's gonna be that. It's gonna be that difficult. But uh, you know, if you actually manage to get out with the space, um, you and your crew, just like I, I can imagine, like one of your crew outside doing repairs to the spacecraft, and then a meteor hits. And you know, it'd be really fun to play online yeah, if you know what I'm saying. Like, just imagine having your own space crew. You know, you go out on space missions, exploring the universe. Yeah, I'd be a bit, I'm saying a bit like No Man's Sky, uh, with asteroids, black holes, and actual multiplayer spacecraft where you can have about 12 players in your spacecraft and you could just go explore <laughs> and this would be really cool because you know like I was saying before let's say a meteor hits the wire that the uh, asteroid is attached to um, you can go and mount a search and rescue party or you can just leave it to the depth of space you know um, you'll be responsible for your crew and well, you know, you can assign different roles to people, you can have scientists, you can have your co-pilot, the pilot, uh, your team leader, your captain, otherwise. Um, so yeah, that, that, that would be really interesting. There could be different types of spaceships as well. You could uh, be in control of uh, like a spaceship or a satellite uh, or a moon lander, anything. Uh, anything would be really cool. Just we want one of those open universe, realistic space games, multiplayer. You know, I I can understand that it may not be appealing to some of you because well, it could be boring. Maybe you you won't know what buttons to press at the time. I suppose like if it's going to be realistic, uh, you know, you've got to enter the Earth's atmosphere about uh, you know a certain angle yeah you're just burning up in the atmosphere but I suppose that would appeal to other people because yeah that's just funny uh, the second game would be kind of a kind of more like what I'm playing now but modern uh, what I'm saying is an open world game with different planes in fact, no, it's not just planes, it, it's more just like based off, you know, infantry, tanks, you know, special forces, planes, paratroopers, uh, maybe not space combat, May maybe it could involve the orbit of the Earth's atmosphere, um, the Navy, uh, the Marines, the Coast Guard, all, all these things, medics, just an open world battle game, you know. You, you choose your allegiance, you go fight, you go blow up another country, go invade someone. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. And if they had like a Star Wars version of that, like not like Battlefront, but you know, you could leave a planet, go to another one, you know, choose your path. Kind of thing, you could be a Jedi, a clone, a senator, whatever. Uh, just a kind of world where you do what you want. And, um... You know, so you, again, you could have the realistic physics. You know, if you get a hole in the side of your ship, you'll start to sink. 
Uh, it could be any era, really. You forget what I said about modern. It could be, could even be ancient. You know, like World Wars. It could still work. Uh, let's take off. Like I said, the uh, the cold is pretty distracting. I was gonna wait for it to go. Uh, I was sitting a GCSE exam today, or the other day. It was just, it was so horrid. <laughs> just having this cold in the middle. Yeah, it's so distracting. Yeah, I probably got a D because of it, but you know, that's only you know year ten exams. That's yeah, short course ethics and philosophy and short course IT. You know. Nothing that, nothing as major as the final GCSE. You know, hopefully I don't have a cold then. Anyway, uh, back on subject. It'd be kind of like this game, I suppose. But you know, you know, let's say you got your buddies like infantry. You know, you're, you're coming along. Like they want air support. They're down here. You fly over them. You start banging out on the enemy. You, know, you got some tanks. You know, you've got to cover the tanks. You got to bomb a village. Yeah, you know, I mean. It'd be pussy hectic, and with the Star Wars version, you could you could do exactly the same. Yeah, there's always the Space Corps. There's always different factions as well. That would be pretty interesting. Uh, my ideal single single player game would probably be kind of uh, a terrorist situation. I'm saying it could be set. Uh, you know, it'd be pretty dark anyway, so you know, it could be set in a school or a workplace, uh, old people's home, anything, just like terrorist attacks. There's something, something sad. I like, I like depressing single player campaigns because they, they're always just emotional and everyone loves them, kind of. So, you know. Like for example, Modern Warfare 3, Soap Dying, just that throughout a whole entire campaign. Uh, you could have like the students uprising or something, or just the army going in, and killing them all, the police, I don't know, it's just something, something to do with terrorists. Cause, you know, I won't be able to go in there and bang out ISIS. I'm talking like a real chav today. It's not how I usually talk. Uh, we were going to bring some other Tropico 5 content this weekend. However, I've been away. Uh, but we were going to do it with Corey, so... I'm not sure if he would have agreed. We were... Well, I won't give away what we were going to do, but... Yeah, we, we were going to have a special episode. So you can stay tuned for that ne next week now, because I don't think they've done it. Oh, hold on, I'll just check. Actually, no, my internet's crap, right? But I'm not sure if they've done it, so go and check out Tides of Gaming and Danger Deal 3. Either of those could have something on their channel. Um, so, the, just the purpose of today was just to get, you know, some dream game ideas out there. You know, what, what I want to see on PlayStation or PC or. Xbox, you know, because it would it would just it would involve the players a lot more. It would be something new. It would be something fresh as well. You know, open universe Star Wars, uh, open universe space game. It's all it's all open universe. That's what I'm saying. We need something bigger than open world. That's that's basically what I'm getting at here. So, yeah. Feel free to make your own videos on dream games and leave in the comments what your dream game would be. This is EPJ Me. Goodbye.